Good morning, everybody. It is uh, 52 degrees. Mostly cloudy. Rain is, I guess, supposed to be happening today at some point. Uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and we are up. I didn't say fully awake. Man, I went straight. I, I did have a little bite to eat. I was in bed by 11.21, and then my right foot started with its itching. So, it was just before midnight when I finally passed out, and, uh, yeah, slept straight through, so. Oh, not too windy right now, but it's, uh, <laughs> not very pretty out either. Good morning. Oh, trying to play with her little friend that she met the other day. Uh, remind your food. <laughs> okay, little dude. Let's go. Alright, we are not making work ground fast because I've been talking to the maintenance and the complex manager. Oh, she's been barking at one and friendly with the maintenance guy. <laughs> what do you think, princess? Hmm, I see the sun is trying to come through back there, but also rain is looking like it's in the sky as well. Come on, baby. What are you looking at? Come on, let's walk you walk. Okay, you're going around a pole, puppy. Come on. Come on, what you doing? Now we're trying to get our toilet upstairs. It's a little bit wobbly. But uh, they're off this Friday for Easter weekend. So that's not going to happen. And I uh, need a new handle and another spacer for the back screen door so Priya doesn't push it open and walk outside. <laughs> so... Oh, plus they have some uh, sewage issues going on at the bottom of one apartment. So we're calling the plumbers in to come look at that. Oh, so much fun living around here sometimes. Right, so both of my um, cold shoe mount adapters were supposed to arrive today. They were out for delivery. And then I get a thing on my informed delivery that there's no such post, no such um, address. Amazon has me on file. I mean, it's not like... They had to type in anything. It should have automatically been generated. I just called the post office. I don't know what the hell you're doing, but uh, I want my stuff. But according to them, they're sending it back to the freaking sender. And we did get a little bit of rain. It's supposed to start raining here again soon. Figured I'll take Princess for a little walkie walk since I'm going to go to the post office and see what the post box and see what's going on. But I might very well be uh, heading over to the post office here um, before work because I'm I'm just, I'm totally baffled. The only thing I can think of is that there was someone new on and doesn't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> okay, well, I have packages in the mailbox. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder if they scanned it wrong and I called the post office for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> All right, the triple mount is here. So the reason I went with that one over other ones, sorry, the birds, um, it's got stops in it. And with that light, I need stops. I wish I had a stop on both ends though. I was actually reviewing um, a video on the mod light, and huh, it seems like the original edition may have been more of an actual correct cold shoe mount, and the one I got is very thin, so I'm gonna figure something to slip in there and keep it locked in. Um, but that light's super small and very convenient. Um, and then I'll say, I did order the small rigs. I got a cage for both thumbs. I got both different handles, the top handle and the side handle. Um, I don't know when that's going to come because I ordered just from small rig. And it ordered their pocket tool that gives me all the different little Allen wrenches. So, so keeping track of one Allen key to the button. Also, this guy arrived finally too. I mean, this was quick. Yeah, both of these items said that they were not coming today. So it's like a clamp mount for the dash instead of it being a suction mount. This little piece folds up and down and you got full 360 degrees plus it can swivel any which way and there shouldn't be anything in the way of the cameras with this one. That's kind of why I was looking at this one. But we'll see how it works. It's not going to work with the rig on it though. That's the problem. But it is the upgraded version multifunction car mount by... What? Vulcan? Function? Yeah, that looks like on a dash. Just in that little bit of time, I took Priya out and got home, and it has now started raining again. I did get a real time weather alert here a minute ago. Come on, buddy, go potty quick so we can get out of the rain. Got asparagus when I got all that other stuff and never cooked it up, so I am throwing that in right now. I think I'm going to throw some rice in, in the, after I get it cooked up. Oh. Come on, Mateo, we can't go too far. I didn't close the door all the way. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm using it on the counter right now 
gives you an idea how it clamps. It is um, super tight with that particular case on it, and I don't know that the other case that I'm getting will fit. Because it's much wider, and that is max opening right now. I have to slide it out to get it in and slide it in. But it does give you basically 360 degrees spinning. It's right there. Yeah, you can get past it. You just have to lean forward a little bit. But, yeah. All right, so that's what it looks like now with that unit on there. Puts everything kind of close by. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's going to balance the phone out a little bit better because the cameras have a little bit of weight to them. And if you put a lens on there, I haven't tried filming with it yet, except I am filming with it front camera right now just so I get the audio from it. How's iPhone fill on my phone? I'm a little shaky because it's heavy. But yeah, um, it really didn't affect much. Um, actually makes things a little more compact. I don't have anything on the bottom now. I will say with the Rode video mic, the wheel that you tighten the cold shoe with is making them open a little bit, but there's, because of that rubber backing, they're on there pretty steady, so they're not going to fall off. Yeah, I think that might work if I'm going to decide to use this. But it was funny because I was watching another um, YouTuber that I saw the Polar Pro case with, and he did a review of like all different vlogging rigs for iPhones, both the small rig, beast, the beast rig, um, some other thing that he kind of made up himself, and of course the Polar Pro. Polar Pro right now is his favorite. Which, you know, each has, every, like you said, everybody has their own little um, thing that they want out of a rig. Me, personally, not having to have the handle on there. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out with the audio. Now that I think about it, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. i got one for each phone. And the nice thing about it is, it's a nice metal case that, you know, I can pull it out of my pocket, slide the, the audio on, plug it in, and shoot. I don't have to hook up a handle. And honestly, I'm not using the Bluetooth remote much anymore because I've, no, I've mentioned it before, but it actually makes a clicking noise when you shut off the camera, when you stop the recording. So at the end of every clip, I have like a one second thing I have to cut and delete every time. And it's a little frustrating, honestly. So, all right. I do have the gain up still by one. So that's the middle game. Yesterday it sounded a lot better to me. Well, no, I didn't even use the rig yesterday. I didn't use microphones or nothing yesterday. So I did see someone else though actually cut the fuzzy down on this. But since this is the only one I have that's the good style, I don't think I want to do that. I know I did it on the Sony because I had a whole bunch of those little stick-on ones. So I wonder if one of those will work and get rid of this big thing. Hmm, interesting. And the answer to the ultimate question is, would it fit on the current setup I have? It does. So, just. Now I have the, I actually have that a little bit too high right now. I'm not sure how the audio is going to catch behind the mirror, but, uh, so I'm going to have to lower that suction cup down. But yes, it does fit with the Joby, Joby mounts. I kept saying Manfrotto, they are, this is the Joby, it folds up. It's, compact or whatever they call it but uh yes with this particular rig i was concerned with that extra little piece but because it raises up so high here even with the uh, receiver it still has room to get in there and not press on my buttons okay lowered it down i don't know two three inches maybe on the windshield which backed it up a teeny bit and uh there you go now the mirror is not blocking the audio oh, we're getting there we're getting there this rig just became a lot different than it was. <laughs> In all honesty, um, you know, I should still have the road one coming, which instead of it being straight up with the, all of the cold shoes on it, it will be across and have two cold shoes. This rig would not work with that one, um, but it may be a little bit... Uh, it might work better with the new rig coming, the small rig. The thing is, I can't tighten this thing super tight, but I can't leave it super loose because there is literally so much weight on this little swivel that right now it's still too loose. There's so much weight, it's actually making the camera do that. So, does it sound good? I think it looks good. Um, I'm trying to make it minimalist, and that allows me to 
I think, in all honesty, still pocket it, and the fuzzy should be even less likely to get kicked off. Okay, extreme front angle. This is with the other clip. Let me get this one fired up here. Obviously, see this is what I'm talking about. This Joby, you can actually fold that down, fold it out of the way to some extent. All right, so there's what that clip looks like. Mounts in there, squeezes down pretty hard. Um, in a Subaru Impreza, I'm gonna say that's probably not a great fit. Um, very difficult to get it in there. Even with just the standard iPhone leather case on there, uh, it's still very tight. And you can kind of see maybe a little bit how thick this case is. Yeah, um, it's not very, and it's still almost too thick for that for that mount. Um, some people, they show it like putting it up, up here on the, on here and that's yeah no that would be bad I think because the phone would be sitting like right here in your vi in your vision <laughs> so all right we are for the moment right now set up this is just I'm just playing around with this but I mean it puts everything out of the way so it should still be really eh, I might not be able to read my clock because this bottom piece may be in the way the other thing they showed was actually putting it on your mirror yeah but that then blocks out this whole side of my car and it uh, gives you like an aerial view of me <sighs> Maybe the other side, but then that would block my passenger side. Yeah, I don't know if this was such a good buy. But, hey, at least if anything else, I can show everybody else and they can decide whether or not it would work for them. I don't really know in my car anywhere else it could really go. Yeah, this design looks highly illegal. So, you figure that's about my view. <laughs> eh, that don't work. I don't know why they thought that was a smart idea. All right, that location may work, so you can kind of see where it's off to the side. Let's see what that looks like. Getting the phone in and out is a nightmare, though. Yeah, if you want a really good angle of my steering wheel, and yeah, yeah, that's not quite high enough. That doesn't, I mean, if I put the camera in the other way, put it on this side. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that, that may be a, a solution put anything like that. I don't, I, I mean, I'm going to use the other one better, um, but quickly. All right, so when you're looking out, obviously, yeah, that would be maybe the only alternative I could use it for. It'd be nice if they made one for the iPad, but again, it'd have to have a longer arm protruding out, so it could come down over here. I'm going to go with my best uh, advice. If you have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and don't don't unless you don't need to get your phone out of your car <laughs> I wouldn't bother with it it's just too it's just not enough space there I can imagine a silicone case would be just as bad if not worse maybe a hard plastic case might work wouldn't grip near as much but I can barely get the phone out of it or in it when down the air having a uh, <laughs> sewage backup in the main line um, one of the tenant that has Roy he pointed out to me to keep the dog away from it and uh, so I was walking past the office and the manager was there so I said something to her and I said you might want to get the boys over here to look at that and they have plumbing masters here they probably had about 60 feet of hose down inside there and it's still it's like trying to overflow <laughs> they wrap the hose back up and I guess they're either gonna try something bigger or uh, they've got it fixed which I don't think they did but yeah, they've, a lot of tenants on that side, on across from us, their toilets, when they flush the upstairs ones, the downstairs ones are bubbling. When their washer drains, it does it. When, you know, when excess water comes through, their toilets getting affected is backing up through. That's not good. And, it, I mean, there was a lot of, like, sediment and debris coming out of there, all over the grass. And there's a couple of the staircases that it almost looks like it's, you know, oilish style, like, water with oil in it. So, yeah, they got a little bit of a problem there going on. All right, well, it drizzled and then it stopped, so. And who are you? I don't know who you are, so get off my phone. All right, off to Wally World, three to 12, woohoo! My mirror's all messed up from playing around with that mount. They may work better in two. I'm not really sure how my phone answered that phone call, but it did. <laughs> all right, asking for my ex-girlfriend. Alrighty guys, well it is now going for one o'clock in the morning. Um, 
<laughs> Same old story as every other time. Trying to help out the shift in front of me and cause nothing but chaos. You know, the flash being that high, eh, well, it is what it is. Could have put it at the bottom. That might have worked better. Time to go home, get the puppy dogs out. Come on, princess, good girl. Did you go pee pees? Did you go pee pees? You good? All right, everybody get in the car. Daddy's gotta go back to work. He's got keys on him. Now well, we're all going. Get all the way home. I hear jingling and I'm like, what's that? Oh, son of a, still have lottery keys on me. Wasting gas and lack of sleep. All right, we are back home. It is two o'clock in the morning now. I waited at the door for, I think, 13 minutes almost. <laughs> I called three times. I called the manager. Finally, I called the third shift manager. She picked up. I said, can you radio the other manager to come up and get the keys, please? Apparently, she was in the back and didn't hear her phone. <sighs> but anyway, all right, guys. <laughs> Crazy end of the night. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in a few short hours. And uh, yeah, have a good night.